This video is going to introduce the NI Elvis board as well as the virtual instrumentation that goes along with it that can be used to replace traditional desktop equipment. The NI Elvis board consists of two parts, the proto board, which is the blue board on top, and then the physical NI Elvis where you can plug in uh, different cables and uh, oscilloscope probes to the side that then connects to the computer and the virtual instruments. The proto board is very simple to install. You can just uh, unscrew the wing nuts and then it pops out and this is very useful because it allows you to work on your circuit separate from uh, being in the lab or connected to the Elvis and then once you have your circuit the way you want it you can simply just set it back on the Elvis and then it just pops right back in and then you can reattach the wing nuts. Here we have a simple circuit already wired up to our proto board. We have our power connected to our header coming out and going into our breadboard. And the breadboard is just like any other breadboard. The power is internally connected in the rows and then on the breadboard uh, the columns are connected. So we have one resistor in series and two resistors in parallel as shown in this circuit. Once you have your circuit wired up to your proto board, you will want to turn on the power. The power switch is on the back right of the Elvis, right behind the label. As soon as you turn on the power, you will get a active and a ready light on the Elvis and your NI Elvis instrument launcher will pop up. To turn on power to your proto board and through the headers, you have to flip the switch on the front of the NI Elvis that is in the top right corner. Once you flip that switch, the green power light will be shown on the proto board, and you can also see in the bottom left uh, LEDs indicating you have plus 15, minus 15, and plus 5 volts that is going to your header. And so now we have power running from our header into our circuit. To measure voltage or current on your circuit from the NI Elvis instrument launcher, you're going to click on the digital multimeter. From the digital multimeter, you will want to select what type of measurement you want to perform, whether it is DC voltage, AC voltage, DC current, AC current, or resistance, impedance, diode, or continuity. When you make a change, for example, from DC voltage to AC voltage, the banana jack connections will change and correspond to how you will want to connect to the Elvis board. We're going to start by measuring a DC voltage in our circuit. So we're going to select the DC voltage and then connect our banana jack cables as shown in the connection. You are also going to want to make sure that the Elvis 2 device is selected under devices and depending on whether you want a continuous measurement or a single measurement you can select run continuously or run once. As shown on the digital multimeter virtual instrument, we are going to connect our red lead to the voltage side of the digital multimeter and our black lead to the comm side. Then we are going to connect to our first resistor with the alligator clips. Once we are connected to our circuit and all our settings are correct, we will hit run on the digital multimeter virtual instrument and our voltage will be displayed on the screen. When you are happy with your measurement, you can click the stop button. Next, we are going to measure current through the same resistor. So we're going to change our measurement setting from DC voltage to DC current. As you can see, when we select the DC current, our banana jack connections change. As shown on the screen, to measure current, we are going to have to switch the banana jack connection from the V to the A. To measure current, we will have to insert our meter into the circuit, unlike with voltage where we can measure across the component. To do this, we will have to remove our alligator clips and remove one end of the resistor we want to measure and connect our probes into the circuit. Now we are in series with the resistor we want to measure current through. 
now that we have our cables connected the way that we want, we can click run on the digital multimeter. Now we can see the current that is flowing through our circuit. Once we have our measurement, we can hit stop. For our circuit, we wanted five volts, so we tied directly into the five volt header of the DC power supply on the proto board. If we wanted 15 volts, there are also headers for those, or there are headers for the variable power supply. These power supplies have current limits. For the 15 volt supply, the current limit is 500 milliamps, and for the five volt supply, the current limit is two amps. If your circuit requires more current, you will have to connect to an external power supply. Now we want to change the voltage going into our circuit, so we want to use the variable voltage supply. To do that, we are going to move our header pins from our 5 volt to our variable power supply. Once you have your wires connected, you will want to launch the variable power supply from the Elvis instrument launcher. From the variable power supply instrument, there are three ways to set the voltage. Manually, where you can change the voltage from a knob on the Elvis, or from the dial on the screen, or you can enter a voltage. As always, once our voltage has been set, to apply that voltage to the circuit, we will have to hit the run button. Next, we're going to apply an AC signal to our circuit. To do that, we will have to move our power from our variable voltage supply header up to the function generator. To set the amplitude and frequency of the sine wave, we will have to open the function generator. In the function generator, you can output a sine wave, a triangle wave, or a square wave. You can also perform a sweep by setting the start frequency, the stop frequency, the step, and the step interval. We are going to set our frequency to 1 kilohertz at a 5 volt peak to peak. These can be adjusted using the dial or by entering in a value. You can also specify a DC offset. You are going to want to make sure the Elvis device is shown as well as the signal route. For the signal route, you can either output it through the prototyping board header, which we are connected to, or you could output it through the function generator BNC if you were going to an external circuit. Once your settings are configured, you will click run to provide power to the circuit. To view our function generator output, we can connect directly to our analog input. We have the plus side of the voltage on the positive side of the input and the ground side of the voltage on the negative side of the input. Now that we have our wires connected, we can launch the oscilloscope from the Elvis instrument launcher. From the oscilloscope, you will want to select the correct source. We plugged into the analog input zero header pin, so we will select AI zero. Once you have the correct source and the device is properly set, you can click the run button. It is best practice after clicking run to click the auto scale. It will then show the signal in which the computer thinks is the best view. If you don't think this is the best view, you can change the time base, which is the times per division, as well as the scale, the voltage per division, to try to get a better view. As you can see, this signal is bouncing all over the place. To stabilize the signal, we will change the trigger from intermediate to digital. Now we want to probe some voltages in our circuit. In order to do that, we will stop the oscilloscope and then change our source to scope channel zero and connect our oscilloscope probe to channel zero. We'll connect our probe BNC connector into channel zero of the oscilloscope. 
To measure different points within your circuit, first you ground the alligator clip and then connect the probe to the point of interest in your circuit. Now that we are making a measurement with our probe, in the oscilloscope we will want to change our source from analog input zero to the scope channel zero. Once our source is correctly set, we can click the run button. It is best practice to click auto scale. Now that the graph is shown, we can change the time base. Below the graph it shows us the RMS voltage, the frequency, as well as the peak to peak voltage. If you need more current than the Elvis can provide, you're going to need to connect to an external power supply. To do that, first you can turn the power off to the prototyping board, and then connect your external power supply to banana A and banana B. Then you will move the power and ground wires to banana A and banana B headers on the proto board. Now when you turn on your external power supply, your circuit will be powered from the external supply.